y'all, it's Taylor by Debbie here. This week, I'm gonna show you how you can make these adorable gnome earrings. Okay, I've got this one made and I'm gonna make another one to match it. Okay, what we're gonna need are some wood earring blanks and these are approximately two by one and a half inches and they're oval. We need some 15 millimeter wood half beads, wood, wood half rounds. We need some of the earring sets, and I will put all of these supplies in the description box below. These are earring hooks that I got on Amazon, so I'm going to also need an X-Acto knife. We're going to need some pliers. I bought these on Amazon. They are a round nose plier. I'll put the link to those, but if you have some needle nose pliers laying around, those would also work. You're going to need some fabric. I'm just using some cotton fabric that I have. And I've got it cut into a three inch width and we're going to cut it also into three inches this way to make it a three inch square. And each one of these is half of an inch. So we need six of these boxes. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna come, let's see, let's get this. It's okay to have the fray on the edges. That does not matter. I'm just gonna kind of line up this edge over here. And this does not have to be a perfect square. So two, four, six, two, four, six. And we're just gonna come right here and cut a little slit and then we're gonna rip it, okay? That's the easiest way to do this cotton fabric, y'all. And I'm just gonna take that little bit of fray off. Okay, and that's what we're gonna use for his hat. But the first thing we wanna do is to get some of this fake fur and I'll put a link down below for some fake fur that you can buy on Amazon. I did buy this piece at Hobby Lobby. It's a nine by 12 piece of um, faux fur. And when you cut this fur, you wanna turn it over to the back side, and we wanna cut a piece and we'll just go ahead and cut another one here. And I've got this on my cutting mat, but I'm not gonna cut deep enough. Okay, you wanna come down to the edge where the fur's hanging over and you wanna cut a strip that's one inch one inch tall, okay, or one inch long, and you only want to cut through the backing, and I'm just using an X-Acto knife that I got from the Dollar Tree. You just want to cut the backing only, so you just kind of scrape across the back, and then we want it to be two inches wide, okay, so four of these little squares approximately on the back, and we're just gonna do the same thing, just cut the backing and pull that apart. Okay, so that's what we're gonna use for the little beard. Now you just wanna, after you cut this fur, you wanna go around the edges and just pull off any loose fur. Okay, because you're always gonna have a little bit of loose fur when you cut. So let's take this out of the way. Now we're gonna, let's see, this is our two by one inch backing. It's what you're you're measuring okay and then we're going to take our little earring and we're going to lay it down to where the bottom of the backing just you just overlap it a little bit okay so we're going to start by gluing this edge i'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the backing and then i have these tweezers here i'm going to take these tweezers and just push, push that over with them, just like that. Okay, then we're gonna take this wood piece and roll it over like this, and now we're gonna put some glue on the backing of the fur, not the wood, so you know where the glue is going. Okay, now we want this, when we bring it back over, to kind of be straight across, okay? So we're just gonna Continue to pull that over. You can stretch it a little bit. Pull that across. Kind of want it to be straight. So if you get it a little uneven, we do have a little bit of play there. You can always come back here and reheat your glue where the glue is until it gets down really securely. You still have a little bit of play. And we want this. You don't want to get the fur in it. You just want the backing. You want to kind of pull it straight across, okay, and then lay it down and kind of mash it, mash that down so you get it good and secure to the wood piece, and then we're just going to take the leftover backing on this side, 
very small piece of fur is all that's needed for this. We'll make sure we just put the glue on the backing. Use those tweezers to come up under that fur on the front and just kind of push it over. And then you can pull, you want to pull it snug. You want to pull it snug and it doesn't matter that there's a gap right there because the hat is going to cover that up on the back, okay? You just want to worry about the front. And there's our beard, y'all. See how easy that was to do? Next, we're going to glue on our 15 millimeter half wood ball. And what I like to do here is to use these tweezers and just pick up the wood bead, flip it over, and put glue on the back. You don't wanna go real close to the edge because you don't want the glue coming out onto your beard. Okay, then you wanna just pull your fur apart, pull the fur apart, and then lay the wood bead down, half the wood bead on the beard and the other half on the wood, just like this, okay? So now we've got our gnome nose down. Just apply a little bit of pressure there to make sure it gets down well. And it's on there, y'all. Okay, so we can put those to the side. All right. Looks like we may be off center just a little bit, but I don't think it's gonna matter. All right, now with your um, square that you cut, you wanna fold it in half. And the main part that you wanna make sure you match is this top point section. So I usually go and look both ways and see which way I think it lines up better. And I'm kinda of liking the way that lines up the best. So I'm gonna then take some hot glue and just run some glue along the edge from corner to corner in that little triangle. And then I'm gonna pull this up and you wanna make sure that you get that point in the corner lined up and then the rest will just kind of fall into place. Just push that down, just like so. Okay, and this is gonna be our little gnome's hat. Okay, so we're gonna be placing this, we're gonna be placing this over our little gnome, so we want to kind of line it up, and we're going to be putting the middle of it on his nose. So the next thing you want to do is take some glue and put some glue right along that top edge of fur, and then let some get up on top of that wood too, okay, just like so. And then we're going to take this, starting in the middle, we're going to overlap his nose a little bit, and then we're just going to take this and lay it down and kind of press down like that. And because it's double layer, the glue's not gonna seep through. So that's one reason we double the fabric on here, okay? Then you're gonna turn this over. And what we wanna do is we wanna take this fabric and we kinda wanna go in the contour of where the edge of that fur is. You wanna kinda pull it down this way, okay? And that's going to bring this to a point. So, we're gonna start right here, where we just kind of, <clears throat> excuse me, where we just kind of folded that, put a little bit of glue there, and then we're gonna fold that over right there to make that side of our point of our hat. And then we're just gonna take this and glue it down on the back back here. Okay, so we're just gonna lift this up. And I like to put the glue on the fabric so you won't have any extra glue that will be exposed by putting glue on this where it may not, the fabric may not cover it. All right, then we're just gonna kinda take it, pull it down and over, and push it all the way down as far as it'll go. This is the back of the earring, so it's really not going to matter, okay? Then we're gonna do the same thing over here. We're gonna pull it over, we wanna start up here at the top and try to make that come to a nice little point. And we are gonna be folding this over. Um, let's see, that one's folded over that way. So this one will be folded over this way. It'll be folded over that way. So we're just gonna do the same thing. We're gonna come right here and put some glue kinda up to the point. And then take that and fold it over 
just fold that over into a point. And then you're just gonna take, put some glue on the back of this side of the fabric. And I just worry about putting it on that, really on that outer edge right there. Okay, and you wanna make sure that you've got all this fur down. And then you wanna take this and pull it over and lay it down, okay? So most of it is covered up on the back, y'all. How stinking cute. Okay, so that ear, that hat is folded that way. So this time I'm gonna take this hat, we're folding it down so we can get our earring clip up here where it needs to be. And so this <clears throat> top of the hat is not like poking your ear when you wear these earrings. So we're just gonna put some glue on the back of this and fold it over. And you just want a little bit of that corner sticking out over here on the side, not much. Okay, so those look about even, y'all. These are so adorable, adorable. Okay, just make sure you hold that down. Okay, now the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take one of our earring hooks. These I did buy on Amazon and I'll be sure to put the link in the description box. And these already have the claws for the earring. Now, when you're attaching this, you wanna figure out where the front is. Okay, with the hook this way, that needs to be with the back of the earring so that when you're wearing these earrings, the gnome will hang facing the front, okay? So we want that to be on the front. Now these earrings have a little hole at the very top. It's right, you wanna feel kinda of where the top is. And then we're just gonna take these pointy tweezers, but if you have some, something else with a point, we're just gonna stick it through the fabric and feel around a little bit in there to where the, the hole for the ear, and there it is right there. You can come straight through to the back. Okay, so that's where our goal is going to be. And I'm gonna put my thumbnail right there. And this is the front. Okay, so I'm gonna try to come over the front right there and get that in that hole, which I just did. Okay, then you can take these tweezers and use them to kind of pull up the back and, pu and then pull it down and get it down in that hole. And then you're just gonna take your tweezers, just gonna take your tweezers and smash that shut. Just gotta make sure you have it lined up and you're not squishing your actual hook. Okay, and there we have our, our adorable pair of gnome earrings. And you can just take this fur and kind of shape it. Before you put them on, just kind of shape it to make them come to a point. They are stinking adorable. I hope y'all will give this a try. Thank you so much for watching. Please click the bell so you'll always be notified when I put up new content. Leave me a comment down below and let me know if you're going to try this. And go like some of my other videos and watch some of my other videos. I'm getting so close to having my watch time hours over here on YouTube. I would really appreciate your help. Thank you so much for watching and have a blessed day.